G'day Lockie here. We're going to take a look and do an unboxing of a project called the Secret Store CSI Driver. And what that allows you to do is actually integrate uh, enterprise uh, grade secret stores such as Azure Key Vault or HashiCorp Vault um, into Kubernetes via a CSI volume. Now why is this important? So if you have secret data in Kubernetes, uh, you might want to actually store that in um, as enterprise grade secret store um, and have that in a very, uh, you know, integrated fashion. So we can basically access something like Azure Key Vault secrets, um, certificates and or keys um, and present them as volumes inside a pod without actually having them um, being part of either Kubernetes secrets or part of some other um, store that's not enterprise grade. So um, we're going to go through the example here, but if you want to take a look, the, this, uh, this repo is under Deus Labs, Secret Store CSI Driver. Um, and basically we can have a look here, there's a secret store and we can use a um, CSI Driver um, persistent volume to actually mount that in. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this. I'm going to do a Helm install. Okay, and I believe it said to go to the charts directory. Okay, so this is going to install it. What does this do? Okay, it looks like a daemon set, some cluster role bindings, cluster role, service accounts, stateful set, and a custom resource definition there, CSI drivers. Okay, so we should see that get pods in the namespace dev, we should have one per node. Okay, and that's all up and running, fantastic. Okay, so looks like we have a list of supported providers and I'm gonna use Azure Key Vault provider. So if I go over to Azure portal here, I have a key vault and in this key vault, I have a secret called Locky Secret. I'm gonna mount the contents of this secret inside my pod using um, the secret store CSI driver. Okay, now I'm going to use a service principle here. So I've created a service principle in this secret. And um, basically we just reference that credential here. So we can show you what we have here. Okay, so basically in here I have a persistent volume. We're using CSI, we're using this driver. Um, there's a whole bunch of options under here. There's nothing secret in here. All the secret information is stored in a secret, which gives it access credentials to um, access the secret. And obviously I've mapped the appropriate access control and access policies to allow that service principle access. Now what I'm going to do here in this example is I'm going to create, there's a couple of files in here. Basically there's a PV. We're going to make a PVC, which um, grabs that PV by name, then create a pod, which actually grabs the PVC. Okay, and mount that in as mount secret store. So, so far, not too difficult. Cube cuddle. Um, let's just do an apply dash F. Um, what are we going to do? Deploy example. And we want to do the PV first, created the PV, and then we're going to create the PVC to bind to that PV. And remember the details for the CSI are actually in that PV. So we've done that. And then we're going to just create a pod that mounts that. Put our cube cuddle get pods. Send creating cube cuddle describe. We should see it mount that volume. Okay, so it's attached it and then it should eventually start. Okay, fantastic. Now it's on this node. So if I take a look at get pods in the namespace there, then I'll do a wide. I want to look at the daemon set that's running on 002, which is this one. Do cuddle logs. I think there's more than one. And we'll give it the container secret store. Okay, so it's actually gone through 
the subscription ID and mounted that and mounted that in. Okay, fantastic. So I should be able to get pods. It's up and running. Cube cuddle exec um, this, and I'm just going to cat. Let me go grab the mount point. So cat that, and it was called Locky Secret. This is a test, and the contents of that is this is the test. So what I've done, just to summarize, is I've laid down the secret store CSI driver using Helm. I set up a secret with my service principal credentials. Um, and then in the uh, PV definition, I've set some attributes here. So I've actually said, here's the secret name, object version. You could do secret cert or key for this specific provider, um, given it some details about where that is. Um, but the actual access credentials are not stored in this. They're stored in a secret, which is referenced here um, in the namespace. Then I have used a PVC to um, look for that PV that I've just created. And then I've used the Nginx to use the claim on the PVC and give it a mount point and read only. So that concludes this very brief demo. I'm very excited about this because it makes it super easy using a standard interface in CSI and it's plug-in capable. So you could write your own provider if you have your own secret store. Um, for example, KMS on AWS, you could do it, or any other enterprise-ready secret store. So this is great. Um, shout out to Rita, who's on uh, my team, uh, for doing a great job of making this super easy for me to um, demonstrate, and I'm excited for the future of this project. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'd love it if you could subscribe um, if you appreciate all my videos. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, um, and feel free to have a play. Cheers.